And now, Blind Wave proudly presents Cooking with Blind Wave. This episode, Green Bean Casserole. Yay. Hey guys, we're back with another Cooking with Blind Wave yeah. episode. Mm. How's it going? Yeah, good. I'm great. How are you? Shane? Eric, how do you like green beans? I don't love green beans. I'll eat them if forced to. Have you had green bean casserole though? Yes. With like all like the French, crunchy French onions? Yeah. And you still don't like them? Yeah. I don't love, that's just not my preferred thing to okay. do. <laughs> However, Because Aaron, we're not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a little. <laughs> it's going to be a little different? Okay, going... that's fine. Hey, I don't love green beans, but I have picked and snapped millions of green beans have in my time in the park. Uh, so many, I can't even believe it. My back is permanently injured from fucking bent over picking green beans <laughs> on this giant five-gallon bucket. I thought it was from prison. No, that was a different injury. But who else likes green beans? You like green beans? I used to hate green beans as a kid. Yeah. So much, but now I yeah. like them quite a bit. I eat much more vegetables than I used to. I used to hate yeah. green stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, it's not like ironically green my favorite color, but I hate green food. Yeah. Because like, typically it's supposed to be bad. You don't want to eat mold. All right, guys. We got a lot of ingredients today. We're about to start them. So, this is gonna be a real long ingredients list. Ah! Ah! Green beans! Green beans! <laughs> Guys! Time! Rosemary! Ah! Garlic! What are mushrooms? Baby, put it on mushrooms! Candy! No! Yes! Shiitake mushrooms! Ah! Cremini mushrooms! Yes. Tiny man! Oh, you can use Tuscany. Shots! Okay. All right, we're gonna get started. Yes, we are. Okay. We need about uh, three or four pounds of green beans. This is four pounds. We might use a little less. Okay, so maybe seventy-five percent of these. I have preheated to three hundred and seventy-five degrees. <laughs> They're triple. We only need seventy-five percent. All right, and then what we're gonna do is my grandma. What she always does is she blanches them, and they're a little country, a little crunchier. Um, I, I actually like them. Not as crunchy, personally. Blanch. Yeah, like you put them in there for like five minutes and you, in boiling water, and you take them out and they're still crunchy. Mm -hmm. Just cooks them a little bit and they cook more in the oven. But despite that, I always felt like even after cooking them in the oven, after blanching them, they're still a little crunchy to my taste. Yeah. So we're gonna probably maybe do about seven, eight minutes. Okay? okay. So we're gonna boil that right now. In water. Oh, it's the other one. <laughs> that one's right over there. Okay, this one right here. <laughs> I ran away, there's propane. I'm out of here. Get the wrong one lit. So I put it high, let's start boiling this water. Okay. We pretty much gotta wait for that. I'm gonna wait for it to boil when I throw it in there. For it to boil. And when I do that, I'm gonna throw in, like Aaron says, he salts it like the sea. While we're waiting for this to boil, we're gonna make our our, our crouton um, breadcrumb type things. Okay? So, gentlemen, yeah. tear that apart into like maybe okay. one and a half, oh, two inch pieces. Let me get the bigger hat. You guys did it too perfectly. <laughs> Okay. I feel like Aladdin and Abu. So now we're. Hey. So basically, what we're gonna do now? Yeah. Is we're gonna just kind of yeah, just tear it apart like 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 this. What do you mean? Rip it, Aaron. Be an animal. Rip that shit, boys. Rip it. Rip that shit. Aaron, what we're doing right here doesn't that feel doesn't it feel wrong? We need to feel wrong. It feels like we shouldn't be doing this. What should we be doing? I don't know. It just feels like I'm gonna get yelled at for doing what I'm doing. For a mixing bowl. That good old sandwich. I'm gonna use this crock pot. I'm gonna get a bigger one. Damn it! Just ripping some bread. Just ripping some bread. What are we doing? Nothing. You're ripping bread too? Yep. Ripping bread. Oh, you're being serious. They're ripping them out. I'm back! <laughs> All right, so we found a mixing. It's actually one of my little salad bowls I took like a year ago. It's a little salad bowl? It's one of my old ones. Uh, we need to take the thyme and the rosemary right now, and the chives, which are over here. Thyme and cluster. Got it. Got it. Got it. What kind of shock you got that one? <laughs> 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 Can you strip this rosemary, please? Oh! Let me strip it into this. 
Oh, uh, no, no, no. I always use over the recommended uh, amount for the chives and pretty much everything. Go ahead and slice up the chives, sir. All right, what, what do I do with this fucking uh, herb? You just, you just kind of, what we're, gonna, we're actually going to use about half of these, okay? Half of the rosemary. So Eric, just kind of do this. Yep. Pretty much like that. Gotcha. Okay. And this is taking a bit to boil, but it is a lot of water, so. Make sure it's really high, as high as it can be. I'm done with the chives. Okay. I'm done with the rosemary. Uh, slice those up a little bit, Eric. Hey, you can't eat that until we're done cooking. No. <laughs> All the rosemary? These yeah. chives, these chives are pretty jive. Yes, say. Half the rosemary, throw it in here. Okay. Are we Damn it, we gotta do the time, do the time. Are we good with the size of the, of the bread? Oh, uh, yeah. It don't matter, it doesn't matter too much. And then, so half of the rosemary? About half, I would say, yeah. We're gonna sprinkle it in. Mm hmm. Sprinkle it in here. Uh, do about half, uh, the ch uh, half the chives on there, please. Half start. the chives, that's about half. Yeah. Oh, what? Damn it! There we go. Want to add all of that? Yeah. Mix that in there? Half? Uh, yeah, probably about half of that. Just don't do half of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you guys saw our previous recipe, I use oregano and thyme with goat cheese. Put on a bagel. A bagel. I said bagel during the recipe multiple times, I guess. I don't know why you said bagel. I thought you were like making jokes. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being an idiot. Okay, I'm also gonna take a spoonful of garlic out of this. I like to use fresh garlic, but I hate fucking opening it up. So. Really? Just throw it in there. Okay. okay. Just throw it in there. Okay. And spread it. So what is it here that we're making? This does not look like green bean casserole. This looks Basically like, like croutons. All right. Like croutons. Croutons are breadcrumbs. Croutons. Uh, sprinkle on top of the casserole when it goes croutons. into the oven. Okay. Yeah. It's a kind of a tedious process. Aaron's doing a great job, so we we'll just keep waiting. We're trying to not get a lot of that stem and yeah. just get the leaves. Yeah. The leaves are where all the flavor and aromas come. This is like in a, in like a really herb heavy kind of green bean casserole, but I think it's really, really good. So is this something that you would recommend for Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner? Yeah, yeah. And I should say this beginning, in light of the holidays, this is going to come out around Thanksgiving-ish. Uh, this is a great recipe that my grandma makes, and I've kind of, over the years, changed it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but she I'll, wasn't good enough? Uh, no, I you mean... You thought you could be better than her? Like, she added flour. Old oh, people were stupid. I don't think Okay, one thing that we can start doing now. Yeah. Eric? Yep. Uh, beside Aaron, start slicing the mushrooms relatively thin pieces. Kind of like how you get them at a store. Okay? Damn, we so, want shit in here, I don't like. So what? I, I, I never. I'm going to sprinkle this time on here. Okay? Like this? What do you like? What do you eat? Like this? How do you eat all this food? And you like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, Eric. Just pretty much like that. So sit here and like. You ever slice mushrooms with pizza? I hate. Pizza? No! They come in cans. Come in big cans, ass cans. and slimy with big in the water. <laughs> yeah. Man, you guys don't get real mushrooms for your pizza? No! That's a sacrilege. So no one's gonna bother ordering because they suck. I order pe pe mushroom pepperoni. That's why you're always favorite. unhappy. What? Okay. You know what? I think it's okay. Alright. Yeah. You said more time, baby. You gotta get more time. Baby. Light actually lowers the antioxidants of olive oil, so you get. Like a dark canister like this has higher concentration of antioxidants. If you get like the clear ones. How many of these things do I do? We're gonna do all of them. I have about three pounds of mushrooms, maybe a little more than that. Baby. Mmm, baby. Mmm, baby. Okay. Mushroom, baby. Baby so, mushrooms. Three pounds of mushrooms go into this one. Yeah. Oh! So, what I'm doing is I'm pouring olive oil in here. And I'm gonna have some black pepper, okay? And then sea salt. How goes the mushroom business, Eric? I just, I'm not passionate about this work. <laughs> so it just feels like I'm a, just like a job. <laughs> you rather, if you like green bean casserole, I think this is gonna be fantastic. Would you rather spend your time over here? No, no. <laughs> no, Eric. I'm enjoying my time. I can't wait until a time in which you just stop making that fun. Okay. Quit dropping all the mushrooms! Well, your fucking time's all over the place. Hey. Oh shit, there's more in this package. <laughs> They're so good, what the hell? <laughs> what is this, a mushroom recipe? With uh, fucking it's with heavy, it's green heavy, beans? It's heavy on the mushrooms, yeah. yeah. Damn. Ooh, I'm gonna take care of this shit. Taki, mushrooms. I'm gonna go upstairs and get another small baking pan. Oh, okay. So now we're dicing some shiitake mushrooms. We're not dicing, but slicing. And Eric is currently slicing some, what kind of mushrooms you got, Eric? Oh, fucking no. And actually, that's gonna be about uh, two pounds, a little over two pounds. So a little less mushrooms than we do green beans, okay? Oh shit, what's the point? So is this green bean casserole? 
like mushroom casserole. What do you mean casserole? Beans. But there's always like a mushroom stock or mushroom yeah, yeah, even like the processed store bought kind. Dude, and the green bean casserole. We got a port element to this. We get a cream of mushroom soup and green bean casserole, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sprinkle a generous helping of Parmesan cheese oh, over this thing. A generous helping. Of, look at that, Eric. Yeah, see, look at that. Now you're happy. Parmesan. Woo, baby, woo. It's gonna have mushrooms in it. Yeah, it's like it's like a pizza. The oven is preheated at 375 degrees. And then we're gonna go ahead and put these in here. 375 degrees, huh? Yes, sir. How long will we put those in for? 10 or 15 minutes, kind of depends. Okay, we kind of gotta watch them. They come out, they should be that crunchy, kind of like croutons, okay? They won't be exactly like them, okay? But kind of like them. So I'm putting that in right now. That was like the biggest, one of the biggest dishes I can find. I mean, one of the biggest pans I can find. Yeah. It's gonna be a little cramped. But it's okay. It's gonna be fucking cramped with all this mushroom. Look how many mushrooms we got. This okay. is boiling right now, so we're gonna throw the green beans in there. Okay. For uh we're gonna do a little pass. Maybe we should just done one bag of these green beans. I wouldn't have been done. No, no, couldn't have been that. Did you salt this yet? Oh yeah, not yet. So go ahead and salt that like the sea air. Okay. And of course it's gonna immediately stop boiling, but it's okay. That's about three pounds, I'm sure. Okay. Of this egg. Sure. Okay. So, in the, still boiling. Okay, very good. We'll let that boil for like 10 minutes. If you want to blanch them, do about five minutes. Okay, but we're going to go past that. All right. Carp blanch. Okay, we've got to find a way to drain this. That's the best. And I'm using heavy cream for the base. And Eric, I'm sorry, but if we can use a little bit of your milk too, in case we don't have enough, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the, the milk in here says eat. Yeah, it's my milk for Elliot. It's mine. No, it's mine for Elliot. No. Is this one diced? Yeah, diced. Okay, and then when he's done dicing, Ew, we're baby. gonna take that and then the mushrooms. Might have to do in parts because it's a small pan. We're gonna do the shallots and the mushrooms together. We're gonna saute them for I don't know, like five, ten minutes. Get them soft. Okay. Get them soft, just so all the liquid comes out of the mushroom. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna put olive oil. Oh yeah, we're gonna saute them in butter, olive oil, and some garlic, salt, and pepper. Which is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Eric is almost done cutting the shouts. Okay. Eric's got the pan heated up. And then we're gonna we got olive oil in here, and then we're gonna add a little bit more butter than that. Quite a lot more butter than that. I would say for this. Like, the only thing you can do to modify this is in the end add like the French onion shit that people like to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what the croutons are for. All the rest. Yep. These mushrooms will cook down, the liquid will come out of them. We'll add just a little bit more. So some reference, my grandma would use a stick of butter. And I've done it with much less than this time. But if we need to, we'll add butter as it is. Right? You wanna check on this croutons there? Check on the croutons. Bread. You want to pick one out of there? Yeah. Pretty good. A little crunchy. A little crunchy. Crunchy enough, you think? I can probably give it a little longer. A little longer. Okay, we'll get a little longer. longer. That's fine. So that's... I don't want it to burn. No, oh, I think you can get it a little that crunchy. Would... If it burns, this is on you because you wanted a Not little longer. Long. You spent all that time cutting that time. Now you're out. Now of time. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to add in a little bit of garlic and salt and pepper as well. I love garlic. I'm playing keeping. Tablespoon of it. Salt and pepper to taste. Go ahead and cover that. Cover about 10 minutes. We'll check it in five minutes. I'm gonna kind of start timing it now because we had to make sure everything was cooking evenly. Like turn it down a bit, let it simmer kind of thing. I'm gonna look at them and when a lot of the mushroom liquid is out of there, we're gonna add the heavy cream and I imagine a little bit of milk. Okay. Okay, now let me try one of these. How do we drain that? We'll figure it out. Okay. It just tastes blanched. It's been like 15 minutes. We'll go a little longer. Mm, I like it like that. She working that. These green beans are where I, I, I like them a lot softer and they're right pretty much where I prefer them. Okay. So we got this little colander. We're going to see what happens. Isn't this hot? <laughs> yes. It's extremely hot. <laughs> it's extremely hot. <laughs> so I got the piggy. And I got this. Okay. Let's so you get your hand there. I'd lay it down. No. Oh, do you want to sit down? Wait, do you there you go, Shane. So now, um, the green beans to the side. 
lucky miss I found. And now, put the green beans to the side. You get a kind of a good look at this. You see the mushrooms have cooked out, a lot of the liquid is out. We got that creamy mushroomness. Okay, so now, uh, the rest of the chives. The rest of the chives. Get the heavy cream, please, sir. Heavy cream. Just pour it in. Yeah. The heavy whipping cream. And you could use milk, too. I've used heavy whipping cream for sauce. All three? Yep. Desserts. Pussy use about a cup or two. I like a little more. Let it okay. Come, let it come to a boil. A boil. And we're gonna let it simmer for about another five to ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Aaron, kind of forgot about these. Think they look good. Yeah. Definitely take that. Piggy. Out. Piggy. 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 I think they're perfect. Can I close this? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to try one. No. Here's something. No. Something I actually like. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. This is great. Just keep this away from that. Yep. And we're gonna dip that in this. Get my milk back! Damn it. I brought the smoke in. Shane was making fun of me, man. Hey, why you got milk? <laughs> what? Hold on! Why are you gonna have milk? Well, he's gonna get across the street. Like, he's. <laughs> yeah, I need them, like, from his car to work. But I got the big ass gallon of milk. <laughs> I had cereal in my bag. <laughs> that's like butter thing <laughs> Now we wait. Well, then after, when, when that's, where we like it, we'll take the green beans, mix all together, and then we're gonna bake it. I think it's for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm sorry, about 20, 25 minutes. Hey guys, we're back. <clears throat> okay, so we've let this simmer for a bit, right? Yep. Now what? We're, it's pretty much where we like it, so I'm gonna have Eric butter the pan that we're gonna use, okay? The baking sheet right there. No, no, but I have so much in my mouth already. Look at this butter, this butter, butter pretty good. Sir. So while he butters that, we also, uh, Damn it. <laughs> what? No. This is what well, it was. I thought you were holding it like this. Just like, like, I was doing... like a little kid with paint on the wall. <laughs> like finger paint? Yeah. In the meantime, of simmering this, we also added salt and pepper to taste. Yeah. And we also added in some Parmesan cheese. Yeah. That's it! Please. We can use a little more. Alright. Just toss the rest of the sauce out in there. There you go. I'm gonna yeah, put it in here and I'm gonna roll the green beans around in this a little bit. Okay. You're gonna roll around in the green beans? That sounds so fun! No, put that down there and pour that in there. I'm gonna hold it. What's wrong? <laughs> no, I just got so excited. Need something to stick. And they're not like oily or anything to stick. Yeah. That's about good. Ah! A little bit of salt. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese? Oh, yeah. Parmesan cheese, folks. Garlic. Pecan de vinegar. Ah! So now we're gonna dip, put that on yeah, top of the stuff. Yeah, the cream and mushroom, the homemade stuff on there. Go, 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 back, back, back. Like, I guess the most common thing about this recipe is kind of when you wind up with it, it's not as creamy, but that's okay because it's really flavorful. Okay. And spread that around that shell, like all over this the shell. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Parmesan cheese? Yep, more Parmesan cheese. More, more Parmesan salt, cheese. More Put the croutons, the homemade croutons. Homemade uh, we croutons. Make croutons. Uh, we made. Yes. And if you want to sprinkle them on there, I mean, you can smash them up, do whatever, dude. Just. Cheese? Yep, more salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Take the mushrooms all over here. You know what? Our floor is so fucking dirty. I don't do this, but a little bit of garlic powder. Spicy. Garlic powder, Rick. On that, on that end right there, it's gonna be a little strong. Are you a vampire? <laughs> now we're putting it in about 20, 25 minutes. At what time? 20 to 25 minutes. 375. 375. We're going right now. Right now. And we'll see you guys back in that amount of time. Hey, we're back here. We just got done taking some orphans out for burgers. That's very important. Uh, but no, we actually played Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> and you didn't win every single one of them, did you? <laughs> I won every one of them. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What are we doing now? We're gonna go ahead and check it. Should be done by now. We waited about 25, 30 minutes. Usually it's about 20, 25 minutes. Put this garlic away, because they get botulism. Uh, it looks decently done, so whatever. Whatever. Rick is a cameraman, so we're gonna have him try first. Can we put it on a plate first? What? The only way he takes it when it's on a plate, and then does it. Whoa! Could've used more mushrooms. You're right. Yeah, more croutons. 
We had plenty, and some people ate. Who? How many? Damn it, Eric, stop! All right, Rick, you want to go and try this, my friend? So, Rick likes all this stuff, so let's see what he thinks. Half time, Rick doesn't like anything to make. Pretty good? He's shaking his head yes. We gotta, hear, we gotta hear what he says. Uh, not too hot. Nope. Mostly tastes of mushrooms, which is no bad thing. Okay. It's a good crunch with the crouton. Sweet. I feel like it, I mean, I don't know if you ever had a lot of this kind of stuff. I actually really love the box stuff, like in a cream of mushroom can soup. Like the way it all comes together. And obviously I love like the fried French onion stuff. Somehow for all the salt and pepper, I can't taste any salt or pepper. <laughs> it it's, tastes wholesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, we made a natural ingredients and it's, it's a vegetarian meal, obviously as well. What? I'm gonna trust you what Eric thinks because he doesn't like this Anything. kind of stuff at all. Which I understand, you can't like everything, you know? It has a nice party flavor. Okay, cool, cool. It's like something that I would make in the Legend of Zelda game. For a while. Yeah. yeah. Like throw in some Think of that. Think mushrooms of that. that make a hearty. It fills up, fills up all my hearts. A lot of times we have family come over for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we cook at my place. And I always do like the turkey and stuff. Like my mashed potatoes. Not my mashed potatoes, my, I have uh, two more potatoes. Okay. But I might toss this in on the list. Make these, my potatoes, and I turkey. Oh, cool, that'd be awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a side dish. We weren't gonna do a whole Thanksgiving meal today, but if you guys like this kind of thing, I think it's a pretty easy recipe, honestly. Nothing too technical, there's not like arrowroot and 50 different ingredients. Just cream of mushroom, throw on top of green beans that are blanched or boiled or whatever you wanna do. Well, here's what Eric has to say. I don't like green beans or mushroom, but I think the people that do like that would find this appetizing. Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. I, I just personally don't like those two things taste. And yeah. here they're together with some cream. Yeah. And some uh Nick the mushroom hard bread. Yeah. <laughs> some stale fucking bread. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Um it's not unpleasant. Yeah. It's just not my thing. Yeah. No, thanks for being honest. That's fine. You can't like everything. I think, by the way, we did a good job on the cream mushroom stuff. Very good, Shane. I am great. Thanks. I approve this. I like it. Cool, 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 cool. Um, anyways, this is pretty much my grandma's recipe with a little bit of modifications. Guys, thank you so much for Bye. watching. Ah. Thank you for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. Uh, make sure maybe you and your loved ones, uh, if you guys want to make something like this for Thanksgiving or just whatever, if you live or by your yourself. enemies, or if you live by yourself in a one bedroom apartment with no family, you can make this. Just do smaller size. Or if you live by yourself in a big giant house. Yeah, all right, that could be like that too, like Eric. Uh, but if you do want to make something like this, uh, look, uh, upload it to Instagram or Twitter, and then uh, tag us, and we'll tweet it or retweet it or comment on it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. If you want to see more stuff, actually, more stupid shit like this, consider supporting us on Patreon. I'm gonna have another crouton. What? No, oh, that's another one. That's another crouton on my arm! That's another crouton on my arm! No.